here in the war zone of eastern Ukraine. The problem is life has come to a standstill. Everything has stopped working. Hospitals, schools, factories, mines, shops. Buildings riddled with bullet holes. Tanks rolling down highways. Heavily fortified checkpoints. All common sites along Ukraine's border with Russia. We spend hours hiding in our bomb shelter, then come out for a few minutes, then go back down. What kind of life is this? A shaky ceasefire between Ukrainian forces and pro-Russian separatists still holds, but people here know that could blow up at any moment. We don't know when the shooting will start again and things get bad, but that's when we start worrying about our children. In the Ukrainian provinces of Luhansk and Donetsk, the trauma from months of conflict takes its toll on both young I'm so sad that I know what war is like. And old. God called us to stay and serve. We raised our family here, so we have nowhere else to go. CBN's Orphan's Promise has been on the ground for several months, responding to the desperate needs of people living in the conflict zone. The risk to our staff is high, but we knew that we had to help. Kuchar says getting supplies as close to the front lines is key. Those living near cities controlled by pro-Russian separatists are ones suffering most. There's no electricity, no water, no food. They are under constant threat. Her team makes arrangements with local bakeries to deliver bread to hundreds of families. In addition, they bring sacks of potatoes, clothes, water and other essential relief items. Diapers are a big need here. We are so thankful for them. With shops closed, even getting the simplest things as a toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, a laundry detergent are difficult, so this is a huge blessing. The influx of refugees burdened several small communities already feeling the strain of war. I'm 77 years old and I see people fighting for bread every day. There are people from other cities displaced by war and they also need help as much as we do. In communities where electricity works only sporadically, Kuchar's team has been handing out Superbook videos. The Superbook stories teach the children how to overcome harsh circumstances. The children need to hear this message, and so do the adults. In one town recently recaptured by Ukrainian forces, Orphan's Promise helps families rebuild their homes. For example, a lot of homes have significant roof damage from rockets and other artillery fire. We want to get it fixed before winter comes. With so much uncertainty and chaos around, residents say these simple acts of kindness will go a long way to eventually rebuilding lives. I'm so happy that there are people like them in this country that worry about somebody else's pain and are trying to encourage the needy. Praise the Lord for that. George Thomas, CBN News, in eastern Ukraine.